always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Welcome back. I hope that you've had a wonderful weekend out there. We're capping it off with a very comfortable night with mostly clear skies above. Here's what we're tracking. A warming trend as we go through this week as temperatures graduate from the 70s into the 80s beginning on Tuesday. Should stay pretty comfortable. Not too much humidity to contend with until we travel closer to next weekend. That's also when we'll see an increase in the chances for showers and storms. As we take a peek outside in Grand Rapids right now with those mostly clear skies, it feels great out there. Upper 50s, lower 60s are being observed. It is 62 degrees in Hastings, 63 right now in Grand Rapids. The temperature measured at 60 in Fremont. Meanwhile, 62 in Kalamazoo and 59 in Big Rapids, 58 for Ludington. And the wind is much weaker than it was earlier today when we had some of those wind gusts accelerate past 30 miles per hour. Those have really died down, currently five miles per hour or less for most locations in West Michigan. Here's how the beach and boating forecast is shaping up for tomorrow. Much calmer conditions expected at the lake shore. Kind of cool as far as those water temperatures are concerned in the 50s and 60s. There's a look at Storm Track Live, and you can find that we do have mostly clear skies with us, so the weather is going to cooperate for the Perse and Meteor shower tonight. And you may also be able to get a glimpse of the Aurora Borealis. There's a G2 solar storm which is happening, and that can light up the skies a little bit with uh, some of those northern lights. As we expand the view, you can see further west, a few showers continuing to roll through Iowa and Minnesota, and further to the northeast, also a system pinwheeling with a few scattered showers. But we're between those two disturbances, and with that, you can find that we'll have mostly clear skies as we enter Monday morning. Now, tomorrow afternoon, we'll see more cloud cover, the possibility of a stray shower or two. The uh, chance is only at about 10%, though. It looks like most will stay dry. Likewise, as we travel through Tuesday and Wednesday with high pressure, in control as we get to Thursday evening. That's our next chance at seeing some showers and storms roll in from southwest to northeast. So you can see the pre uh, precipitation chance is fairly minimal here as we go through the next few days, near zero basically on Tuesday and Wednesday. And you can see that spike as we approach next weekend into Friday and Saturday. So a nice night ahead of us with a low temperature of 58 degrees expected in Grand Rapids under those mostly clear skies. And again, we are reaching the peak of the Per Se and Meteor Shower. Make sure to get away from the city lights. That's going to be able to help you out in being able to see that event up to 100 meteors per hour. And there's a watch party that is also going on as at Cascade Township Recreation Park from 11 o'clock tonight until 3 in the morning tomorrow. So again, through the overnight hour, is when we're going to have the best chance at seeing that. And the likelihood of the aurora, again, as you travel further north, the chance will grow. And as we go through the eight-day forecast, you can see that highs are going to be in the upper 70s, lower 80s, very pleasant weather, mostly sunny skies, favored for Tuesday and Wednesday before the return of some rain chances into the weekend. Amanda?